this Isonine training video, we will discuss the equipment that is required in a properly outfitted Isonine spray foam rig. Spray foam rigs can be box trucks, gooseneck trailers, or tag-along trailers. It is important that the rig and axles be properly sized to accommodate the weight of all components, including the material drums. The powerhouse of the spray foam rig is the generator, which must be sized to accommodate all of the electrical components in the rig. The most common generator is a 40 kilowatt diesel generator with an integrated fuel cell. However, a larger generator may be required depending on greater electrical demands, such as a second proportioner. A spray foam rig also requires an air compressor for powering air-operated components, such as the material supply pumps, spray gun, and inline breathable air system. Air compressors can be either a standalone piston compressor with a storage tank or a rotary screw compressor that is combined with the generator. Both should be appropriately sized to meet the full air demands of the spray rig. All air leaving the compressor must first pass through a refrigerated air dryer before going to any air-operated components. Air dryers must be sized according to the compressor's output. Air regulators are also required in front of each air-operated component in the spray rig in order to control the amount of air that each one receives. Material supply pumps are needed to feed material from the drums to the proportioner. The most common are 2 to 1 ratio drum pumps which can be used on both the A and the B sides. Diaphragm pumps may also be used but only on the A side. The most important component on the spray rig is the proportioner. The proportioner's job is to heat and pressurize the A and B materials and deliver them to the spray gun. Proportioners can be either electric, hydraulic, or pneumatic. Isonine recommends a minimum output of 25 pounds per minute and minimum 12,000 watt preheaters. Heated spray hoses are available in 50-foot sections. The maximum hose length available will be determined by the proportioner chosen. Isonine recommends using a whip hose between the last 50-foot section and the spray gun. Isonine recommends the use of an air purge spray gun. There are several models available depending on personal preference. Refer to your spray gun's manual for proper use and maintenance. Isonine recommends having a second fully assembled spray gun on the rig to aid in troubleshooting and to maximize spray time. Isonine requires the following additional equipment inlet temperature and pressure gauges, desiccant cartridges on all A-side drums and drum heating blankets, a mixing paddle, drum agitator, and a recirculation system are also required if spraying open cell products. Safety equipment required in the spray rig includes an approved breathing air system, an adequately sized eye wash station, a fully stocked first aid kit, properly charged fire extinguishers, safety data sheets for all chemicals on the rig, and a spill kit. You should also have the following additional accessories available on the spray rig. A workstation with a vise, a fully stocked tool kit, gun cleaning kit and spare parts, moisture-free white lithium grease, isolubricant, and gun cleaning solvent. Following these guidelines will allow you to install Isonine products safely and efficiently.